So this is the cup. This is the lid. Now this lid frustrates me. I feel like if you don't drink it just the right way, it spills everywhere. And I really think Tim Hortons should go back to their old plastic lid with the with the lip and no no hatch. It was a a very nice lid, but I mean we got this now and it's it's okay. We're gonna use this as a temporary garbage and then we're gonna prevent further steeping. Now this has steeped for a while as I went for a drive and got it and then I went back home to do it now. So this is a this is a pretty highly steep tea. Um it's it's black it's black as heck. Now this is the, this is also the warmer. So you have your Tim Hortons, Canada. It's a pretty good warmer. Time for the taste test. to put it back together. The flavor of this tea is remarkably smooth. A little less of a punch than the McDonald's tea. It's more just like if you were to have it as a as a graph, you'd have it like ooh, and McDonald's would be ooh, or no more like McDonald's would be more like that instead of like that. Overall, it's it's good. I I prefer McDonald's over Tim Hortons because the lids and just like the less punch of flavor. But with Tim Hortons is I really have a complicated relationship with it because there's been points in my life where I do like Tim Hortons over McDonald's and sometimes when you're at the coffee shop, when you're not in quarantine, Tim Hortons just has really nice seats and just a good atmosphere rather than a fast food place like McDonald's can sometimes have. So I'm a little crossed on this one of what I think is best. Tea flavor, McDonald's, experience, maybe Tim's. But if we're talking about tea on a tiering scale, I just got to give it a 73% on the tiering scale. I can't give it any more. It just doesn't have the strength, doesn't have the, the flavor. So...